2007 Ford Mustang GT of the 2023 then and now series. The casting has custom bumpers and a ducktail spoiler. This one that I have right now has Falcon livery, with sponsor logos on the sides. I think I got a really decent car. The small tapas aren't messed up which I'm really happy with, cause I have cars that have bleeding prints and it's just not quite pleasing. But Hot Wheels mainlines are generally considered to be on the cheaper side of diecast collecting, so mass production and affordability means a decrease in quality compared to other diecasts. Plus they're generally marketed to be played with. It's a given. But I still support Hot Wheels mainline because it's colorful and fun. Alfa Romeo GTV6 3.0 of the 2023 Retro Racers series. This is one of the new castings for this year. This is also the first diecast of Hot Wheels that uses the new L4 wheel type. I was in a conversation with our subscriber, and he mentioned how it looks like rubber or custom wheels. The new wheel type basically explains why it's so. The Alfa Romeo comes in two colorways. There's this, the Rosso Alfa, and there's the Alfa Y. I really try to get the car from the store that has the least issues on the prints, but this was the only one there. I just had to get it. There's a bit of bleeding on some of the logos. But the headlights are good, the base color is good, and the proportions are pretty good.